trucks here. I don't know. A little bit. Looks like I need to go clean this up a little bit.
soon. I'll be here pretty quick. Brian's pretty good. He's been doing it a long time. And his son Mason, he's he's good too. It'll be another truck that looks like that. It'll just say uh, uh, Flynn trucking on the side of it. That's his old truck there, and he sold it to my buddy that's got the excavating company. And um, and then Brian started driving it for him. So looks like we got pretty good dirt.
we're getting there. That side, here we'll just walk around the foundation. So, anymore, what I try to do is I try to get, oh, it's supposed to start raining here sometime soon, and I'm feeling slight raindrops. That's, that sucks. It'd be nice if I can get this front yard built. Obviously, I need to carry that out, kind of fill this low spot. But here lately, I've been trying to use, if I've got like rock that was sitting here from before, I'm trying to use it up and put it in for a sidewalk so I can get my dirt in now. So the concrete guys, hopefully I get them in a pretty good spot to where they don't have to dig out a whole bunch of stuff and throw it everywhere. I'm running out of lots in here. Um, so we'll have to haul all the dirt off uh, whenever, uh, whenever we have extra. But I've got a little bit of extra dirt here. Kind of got driveway cut in. Um, so I've got an, I feel like I have enough dirt up here even if it settles a little bit because there's a low spot under all those stumps. And when we get the stumps out, I'm going to push this dirt there, kind of grade it out. Obviously, I tried to fill this up as high as we could. Um, I, uh, I wanted to try to make sure that we had enough dirt so when this settles, I didn't have to bring a lot of dirt in. Um, I still, I need to, I need, well, I guess those are my pins. I'd kind of like to cut this weird little hump off here. That's, that's us. That's me. Here's my property pin. So right here is property for this lot. So actually I could take, I might actually take this entire hump out and grade everything to here to go right to that storm so that'll give me a lot of dirt right there. I could take this whole backyard, I could take that whole area right there and bring it right back to here. Uh, I'll have to check the plot plan. We don't have to grade to a plot plan, but for some reason I thought that was engineered for a reason, kind of like how we had to leave it over there. Um, I'll have to check with them and see, because it'd be nice to be able to take that hump off, you know, and basically I can take this backyard and drain it right to there save it a little well that tree's ours but i could save the tree kind of shave that over and contour it nice anyways a thought for later i may end up needing the dirt in here and i might have to take it out um but anyways here's the backyard uh our property pin i think is right behind this tree yeah so we're we're this side and we're the utility box, so I'm not on her property. Um, we're about the cabinet, the transformer, so property line's about here. Obviously, that irrigation is way over there by a couple feet. Um, I'll at least have to remember that's there when I put irrigation in, because I'm probably going to have to put something back, back here to go that way. I guess I could put it in the middle of the yard. Anyways, but uh, we're definitely getting there. I need a couple more truckloads to get around that window well, and uh, we'll be there. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully I've got enough dirt and enough time that it's not raining that I can get the uh, yard down the street done. But if not, at least we've got this one done. They can start framing on it.